Hello to everyone. My name is Lionel Green Thompson, the Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences. I'm here to talk to one of our postgraduate students and leader of the Postgraduate Health Sciences Council. Tell us who you are. Uh, well, he's already said my name. So my name is Moses Ishagi. He is a PhD in medicine candidate. I mean, in my first year. Yes, and I'm from East Africa, specifically Uganda. So yeah, that's uh, that's my name. So Moses, the last two years have been interesting, and, and we're trying to find out the stories of different people here in the faculty. Tell us about your year this year. High um, lights, low lights. I think my my year has been over and above a good one compared to last year because last year it was only just adapting to the situation, so it was more of okay, we're gonna be restricted to being at home and then coming on campus. So it it got better this year because we were at least given access to be able to come here. So from um, a low light perspective, I have lost a couple of people, which has happened to everyone. I think last year, within a space of one week, I lost about three aunties, so we had to bury them on a Saturday, and I'm very far away from them. So it's interesting how one is able to grieve and you be far away, and everyone keeps on asking how you are, especially considering the situation in South Africa, and now we, we all know what the Western world is doing to us. So it's just an interesting an interesting space. So that's a, a low light, I should say. Uh, highlight, uh, I was able to publish. Um, I had one, one publication. Uh, I was in a group that wrote five policy groups for South Africa. So that's a, a highlight for me. And end of the year, I still have two publications coming out. So that's a, a pretty good highlight for one. Moses, I'm interested in your story of the low light because we we often it seems in this time when we speak about grief we yeah. almost we almost always add that there are many people going through that. Tell yeah. me how you as a person have grown or how has it been with that grief that you're not able to participate in uh, in a young way? I think it's a, I should say it's an interesting space because I've been here for seven years so. I don't have what I would call that or close relatives here. So most times that you you are grieving you're in a place where you have to figure out a good way of grieving. I my grieving is by writing, reading, dancing and doing all these other things. So I do a couple of things. I'm involved in the basketball team, I'm involved in the football team, I, I teach Sunday school and so I'm, I'm able to have mm. a good place of grieving. But we know that there's no concrete template for grieving so yeah, while you may uh, be happy and so with people sometimes you, you go back and, and you break and I think my, my biggest worry is um, I'm the elder child so I have siblings and mm. I have a father that's retired so my anxiety is on um, I call them each and every time so I think it's a place of I'm anxious but I'm anxious I just want them to tell me I'm fine and I'm okay so yeah. I think that's a place where I have been grieving from uh, an individual perspective and just just knowing that it's, it's not about me. Like, uh, while there is a place where you can grieve, also there is a place where you have to come out of it and be, be able to be, um, I should say, a good steward, especially because there are responsibilities. I have brothers that are as young as me in grade, uh, grade 10 and, and the others at university. Mm. So if I break down, we'll be able to. That's what I say. I, I don't know if that's a, a good place. No, no, thanks, yeah, it's just, no, thanks for that story. It's I mean, a win win and look, look. Yeah. And I, I haven't been home from 2019, so it's, a, it's an interesting space. So, in the seven years, I've only been to Uganda twice. Wow. So, uh, first time I went after five years. And it's interesting when you go home because people ask you, How are you? You're like, Fine, how does it explain? Because you have nothing more to say because you're used to being in. So when I do this, and interestingly, I was with them for about four or five days, and it's, it's routine. Like, I'm in the bedroom for most of the time because I have stuff to sort out. Yeah. So, it's, I think it's an interesting place where you, you adapt now. If they ask me, How are you? I say I'm home because that's like I'm home. Coming home, and eh? Uganda is also home. So, yeah, that's an interesting space for my individual, individual as well. But while I also know that being here, I have to be as excellent as I am. So it keeps me motivated that I have to finish specific things. Yeah.
and we appreciate the, the extent to which you can motivate you. But I, I'm very interested, you said that one of your your techniques for coping is dance. Tell yeah. me about the dance. What dance do you do? I said, it's interesting, uh, I'm a choreographer actually. So I do Kizomba, which is a, a mixture of uh, it's Lingala, Samba, and Portuguese. Okay. Yeah, because we, are, we have BRC that is mixed there. So I have a, a friend that goes in every Thursday. So I'm in town teaching people how to. It's, it's, I think it's a, a mixture of salsa, then you have the African dance that you do. So it's, it's my work for me. Well, that, yeah. Maybe we must consider a, 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 a training session here uh, on the yes, campus. That, that definitely. sounds very really exciting. Yes, yeah, so you're, you're able to do your physical activity, you're, you're able to it's it's fine, yourself, you're able yeah. to interact with people. So it's, uh... Moses, thank you very much for this time sure. and everything the best for next year. I hope that both of your dreams come true. Uh, they, they Going are, to Uganda and, they have to, eh? and uh, getting two thirds of the way to your uh, PhD. It uh, sounds like an exciting job. I yes, I've, I think from a, a place, because I'm, I'm a man of faith, and if I put, uh, I put specifics to my dreams, and I, I believe that dreams have goals, and if you put the goal there, like, okay, how far have I reached? And definitely, I can do it. No, looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you.